Welcome in to Drew's Daily Diamond for Friday, August 23rd, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down the slate of games. We got prime time East Coast games to get into, West Coast night games to get into. So let me know in the comments below what your MLB picks are for today, where you agree, where you disagree. All is welcome. It helps out the algorithm, guys. Smash that like button. If you are liking the content as we got first game up, game two of four in the 640 Eastern time. Matchup between NL Central teams here, the Cincinnati Reds and the Pittsburgh Pirates. Bailey Falter and Andrew Abbott going at it in the Battle of South Pauls. Eight in the hook being the total. Pick them price right now. Minus 105 picked the winner. Reds come in three games under 500. They have been good on the road, 500 overall. Whereas the Pirates, a what, nine games under 500, three and 13, their last 16. The season's kind of gotten away from them here they do have falter on the hill decent numbers for era last time out against cincinnati though big red machine really got after him four innings four earned runs only two strikeouts so he wasn't really missing bats there i don't like that pass performance and he's up against andrew abbott the second rounder out of the university of virginia he didn't pitch against the pirates in that series and interestingly enough he has not faced this pittsburgh lineup all season long you normally don't see that between like division teams in the coming to the end of August now. So I actually think that works to his advantage. Fastball change up guys changes speeds. Well, last year do note he had a 16 to two strikeout to walk ratio in the two starts against the pirates. So like that past performance, this Pittsburgh lineup just really hasn't been, been good at all. I mean, of late, you can see it in the record and I'm looking to fade them right now. Plus the fact the bullpen edge points towards the big red machine. So it's going to be Cincinnati to lead us off on Friday. Pick the winner minus one Oh five. We're on the reds in PNC park. As you can see behind me next one up, we'll head down to Camden yards or over to Camden yards. Baltimore, Maryland. It is the Baltimore Orioles hosting the Houston Astros. 7.05 Eastern start time. Game two of four in this set. It's Hunter Brown going for the Strohs. Cade Povich, the lefty, going for the O's. Total of nine, minus 115. That is Houston as the road favorite. Houston's been playing good ball. 11-3, and three, their last 14. Now what, five games over? Seattle in the AL West standing. So they're 10 games over 500 right now. They're up against the Orioles, neck and neck with the New York Yankees there with 20 games over in the AL East. This is an interesting handicap because they got Cade Povich. He's making his second start since being called up from the minor leagues. And in his first start, he did go six plus innings, two earned runs, six to zero strikeout to walk ratio against the Red Sox. So that's kind of pointing in the right direction here against a, a pretty good Sox lineup there. He's up against Hunter Brown, 25-year-old out of Wayne State, 3-8 ERA, 3-6 FIP, solid numbers overall, and he's been Mr. Consistent. Six-plus innings and 14 of his last 16 starts. You can kind of count on him here. This is a really tough handicap. I mean, a, po a possible playoff preview here in the American League. I'd actually go with both starters having better than, I guess, well, Hunter Brown, you would expect it, but Cade Povich, I have in my notes here because he worked on some things in the minor leagues. And then we saw that first start. He was good. I actually think he could have a decent start here. So I don't think we get to nine. This is a hefty total. Remember they moved the fences back there in Camden Yards. So with Povich coming from the left side, it could set up well. Tough to step in front of this Astros lineup right now. Uh, sidewise, I think it's tough. Uh, not a best bet by any means, guys, but I don't think we get the double-digit runs. I'd go under nine Astros and Orioles. Next one up, heading to Cobb County, Georgia. The Atlanta Braves hosting the Washington Nationals. 720 Eastern start time here. Mackenzie Gore and Chris Sal Chris Sale, excuse me, in the Battle of South Pauls. Minus 240 heavy favorites here. That's the Braves at home. Seven in the hook being the total. Nats come in winners of three of their last four although it was against the Rockies at home. So when you're playing the Rockies outside of course, not sure how much credence I would put into that. The Braves coming off the series against the Phillies, what about seven games back of Philadelphia in the NLE standings? But really the story here is the pitching matchup, guys. Chris Sale is 14 and three, two six ERA, two flat fifth. He hasn't lost in the month of July or August. 187 strikeouts for the season. I mean, all of that adding up to... Find ways to be on the Braves here, listing Chris Sale as the starter. 
Add that on, McKenzie Gore. He's been a guy we've been fading. If you've been watching the show, he's lost his last two starts. He's given up 38 hits in his last five starts, only lasting 25 innings. So 38 hits, 25 innings. I don't know if he's tipping his pitches, what's going on there, but he's given up 18 earned runs in those five. I think he's going to get smacked around here, guys. Braves with the bullpen edge as well. Don't love laying the minus 240. Actually not going to do it. Get it down here, though, with the home team on the minus one run line. You can split the bet there, money line and run line. You're going to have to put a little bit more on the money line. But uh, if your sports book doesn't offer it, yeah. Let's go on the Braves minus one as the home favorite. St. Louis and Minnesota up next. Game one, 8 o'clock Eastern hour here. Andre Palante going for the Redbirds. David Festa going for the Twins. Twins minus 135 to as high as minus 140 home favorites. Eight in the hook being the total. Redbirds come in two games under 500. Winners are two straight, but they're just three and seven their last 10. They got Palante on the hill. Four ERA, four FIP, solid numbers. Has struggled a little bit with control. 12 walks his last five starts. He's up against Festa here since July 20th. He's been hot. 31 strikeouts in 22 innings. He's been pitching very well. 24-year-old out of Seton Hall. This is a Twins team coming in off of splitting a road trip against the Rangers and the Padres. They had an off day yesterday. They're 12 games over 500 at home. Looks a little bit high, laying the minus 135 on the Twins. But, hey, I think it's there for a reason. We get the better lineup, better bullpen as well. So let's list David Festa in the Minnesota Twins, minus 135 as the home favorite. West Coast up next, Southern California, Petco Park, San Diego to be exact. It's the Padres hosting the Mets, game two of a four-game series. Joe Musgrove on the hill for the Friars. Paul Blackburn going for the Metropolitans. Seven and a hook being the total. Padres were minus 117. But as I'm doing the show now, heading in the overnight market, they're as high as minus 135. So about a 20 cent line move off the open going towards the Padres. Blackburn in the Mets here. Blackburn's been up and down, 4-2 ERA and FIP since coming over. He did get blown up once. Other than that, he's been decent. I think he's going to actually have a little bit of a tough time here with this Padres lineup. They smash righties, number three in MLB against righties, top 10 over the last two weeks, top 10 lineup overall. They got Musgrove on the hill talking about the Padres. Five ERA, five FIP on the season. I was looking to bet on the Padres, but after this line move and kind of at least missing it so far to the minus 135, I don't know if I want to get up too, too high because the Mets are a decent, uh, are a pretty good, uh, pretty good club here. I mean, this is a possible playoff preview in the National League. And Musgrove has been a little bit better. Solid starts, but he's only averaging... 4.1 innings, you know, four and a third here. And it leads into the Padres bullpen that is supposed to be a lot better. You know, they traded for, for some good arms. The numbers still aren't there. So I think there's question marks, two good lineups. I know it's a pitcher's ballpark, but seven and a hook. I think it's too low, guys. I think this one ends maybe five to four. So let's go up and over the seven and a hook Padres and Mets. Got one game left, but first a reminder, if you can comment below, it helps out the algorithm, what your MLB picks are, where you agree, where you disagree, all is welcome. Smash that like button if you're liking the content. And if you're interested in premium picks, check them out. Drew Martin Experts page. we got a special there. Uh, 10 year is the coupon code, and it's 30% off all, all accesses, seven day, 30 day, one year. You can check that those all out with the coupon code 10 year at checkout for 30% off. All right, last game up, San Francisco Giants, Seattle Mariners, 10-10 Eastern start time. Hayden Birdsong on the hill for the Giants. Luis Castillo going for the M's. Minus 155, that's the Mariners as the home favorite. Seven and a hook being the total. Giants come in 500 on the season, a game over actually. Winners of four of their last five, playing some better baseball here. They're up against the, uh, the Mariners. Man, it is kind of falling apart here for the M's. It's their first game home off of a three-city road trip. That's not a great spot overall. And they went one and eight on the nine-game road trip. So they're kind of they are falling apart here. And the spot, I don't think it's that pretty on them. They're also up against Birdsong. If you haven't seen him pitch, he's just 22 years old, six rounder two years ago, already pitching in the show. He throws like 95, 96 miles per hour. 
He had a couple rough starts. He bounced back last time out. So we'll see if he can continue that here. He's catching a big plus price, and he's up against Luis Castillo, a big name in uh, baseball betting world. But, you know, his 3-6 ERA and FIP, actually last time out against the Pirates, he got knocked around for four runs, two home runs. I don't know, uh, going up here against the San Francisco Giants offense, they haven't been great either. But I don't think he should be laying minus 155 here with a, a guy that let up two bombs last time out, four runs, and a team that's just one and eight their last nine. I think it's too expensive, guys. So let's list Birdsong to at least give us a decent start here. He throws hard. Plus 141. It's a nice uh, kickback here. Risk 100 to win 141 on the Giants over the Mariners last game up. In recap, we're on the over Mets and Padres. We got the Twins, minus 134. The Braves, minus one run line. We got Houston and Baltimore. Ooh, that was a tough one, but uh, going to go under nine in Houston and Baltimore. And we got Andrew Abbott and the Cincinnati Reds, minus 105 as the pick'em price tag to lead us off. So that's Drew's Daily Diamond for the Friday slate. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Smash that like button. Comment below. We'll be back for Saturday. Stay tuned. Until then, cash those tickets.